Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. I am here in Michigan at SW North America with my buddy Mark, and we're going to learn a bit more about the SW machines and how they can help benefit you, dual machines, quad machines, running independent, the way the tool changer works, the way the pallet change works, the way you can keep running day in and day out. But Mark's the expert. We all know that. I'm just the guy that's here to learn with you guys. So thank you for watching. And Mark, thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you. So let's get into it, buddy. Let's talk a little bit about the SW machine and what's unique about it with you know, your type of technology. You're known as the technology people. So I'm so intrigued to learn some more. OK. Um, our machines uh, have twin tables versus a single table like most CNC's. So one of the advantages for that is you have our load area and then you have the machining area. So we can load and unload parts while you're machining. So if you have a three minute cycle time within the machine, I have three minutes to take the parts out of here and put them back in. Uh, one of the unique features with that is we have coolant and we also have air that we can put in here in the machine. So I can take the parts, put, turn them down, wash them, blow them off. Pretty dry part, so if you're using our automation system, when it goes out, when you're laser marking or anything like that, it's a drier setup. Um, so you can wash the parts, take them out, door closes, or automated system, robot just takes them out, <clears throat> then I can bring it back down, I can wash the fixtures off, all your locating points, everything's all clean, so you load a part in, the operator loads it in, or the robot loads it in, goes back into the system. So you get, like, you get three minutes, six minutes, whatever your cycle time is to do that. Um, also, if you have special parts like um, we can hear in the background, we're cutting a battery tray, big part, many clamps, flimsy part, so you need backups and clamp sequence. And normal CNC, if you're doing that and it's coming out of your machining time, it's lost time. Right. So here you can do all that while you're machining. That's pretty cool. So a couple of specific points that I like to highlight. The first thing is, I see two setups here. Yes. So I'm, there's, you know, when we're talking about the ability to run, you know, kind of a lights out process, whether the three minute program, five minute program, an hour program, whatever right. it might be, and the ability to set up and keep running that pallet change system, we actually have two setups here instead of a single setup, which is doubling our production. And right. I know you do quad machines as well, which would be quadrupling that same right. production. So this is a twin spindle machine, um, and we simply have spindle running each part at the same time. Uh, as you can see here, um, it's a small part, so there's more space. So we could have uh, two more fixtures, four more fixtures, and load it all up, run it all together. I like that. Um, so we do a lot of master cylinders in China. Uh, we sold a lot of those, and we have up to 16 parts with the four spindle machine. I like that a lot. Now, the second thing you brought up, which I think is creative because I hadn't seen this before, uh, a lot of times when I was running machines and I was done with my part, I take my air hose, I blow it off, you know, chips are flying on me, whatever right. it might be. You talked about the system down here that allows for a coolant flush and an air flush. So right. you're doing all of that. And you then when you once. open that door, your part's ready to just pull out without the chips flying all over you. Yep. Operator can have a little tray over here or whatever. Uh, after you wash the parts, door opens, it closes, he gets the next part, it's rinsing the fixture off, turns around, comes back, puts it in, when you got a clean fixture, ready to go. And something else I know about uh, that I'd like to discuss, discuss a bit more, but we haven't brought up yet, is the tool change system in this. There's a lot of Correct. arms and a lot of systems out there, right? But yours doesn't work that same way. You have a really quick and efficient way that you've utilized your tool change, right? Correct. We have standard tool changers, and then we go up to 256 tools. And what we do is we go high versus out, so you don't, you're not gaining any floor space. And in this black area above us here, the spindles actually go into the tool change area and pick up 
the tool directly from the tool changer. So there's no pivoting arm, so we have really fast tool changes, and you're not gonna bend a, um, an arm or anything like that, so you have less downtime with ours. Well, spindle up time, we all know, is what we're all fighting for, right? The, the general consensus out there, whether that's changed a little bit, is that the average machine shop is running at 40% of spindle up time, and we're trying to keep that up. What you're doing here between the, the ability of your tool change, the, the, your pallet change system, having dual or quad spindles running, the ability to blow it off and clean it up, what you're trying to do is get this part off the machine and get another one running you know, constantly day in and right. day out to keep that spindle running. I think that's incredible. Right. Also, for cleaning purposes, um, in the machining area, when you're machining, your chips can fall straight down into our chip evacuation system. Um, we can turn the part upside down. So when you have a fifth axis, for sure, everything you machine, you can machine with the part upside down. So the chips fall directly into the flume versus piling up on your fixture. So we can also keep it very clean that way. That's also very unique on an SW. That is very unique. And you can do this while machining, which Correct. then allows for a lot of times chip buildup will reduce our tool life or reduce our finish. And you're allowing for that being able to be flipped upside down to also help with those types of issues. Correct. Yes. Wow. I like, I like that part a lot as well. So overall, you also mentioned, which I like, the floor space issue because so many people are fighting for real estate and you're a lot of times building up instead of wider because right. there's people just, they can't expand in their building but you can get one of these guys in there and do a yes. ton of work. Yes, yeah, so we can do a four spindle and that's equivalent of basically four CNC machines, right? So instead of four machines, you have one machine and less space, less energy. Now, traveling around a lot, and I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here, guys, but I think you all will thank me for this. Now, traveling around a lot, it gets brought up, well, I love the SW machines. I love that you can have two and four, and I love the newer machines where they actually the spindles run independently of themselves and all that kind of stuff. But what happens if one of the spindles, for whatever reason, a human error or whatever, crashes? Can you still run this machine? Yes. If you have a four-spindle machine, you can run with three spindles, two spindles. So if you have a spindle that is down for any reason or you have a fixture issue, then you can run three parts and no problem. Still running three times more than a single spindle, That's aren't right. you? Right, absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to convey that message because I've heard that question asked a lot. SW is very popular in a lot of conversations I have, so I wanted that to be conveyed as well, Mark. Mark, thank you so much for sharing more about this machine, its capabilities, what it's able to do that's unique from some of the other, market, uh, some of the other machines out there, and thank you for being a part of MTD. All right, thank you.